Good morning, good morning. It is Saturday and so I am going to share a vlog with you because I do not have time to do vlogs during the weekday. Being a school teacher and a wife and giving private lessons on top of all of that, I just have a full plate. So I thought it would be fun to do a vlog for you today. Um, I do these every so often, but give me a comment below if you would like to see more vlogs. It would mainly be weekends because I don't want to take my camera to school. But um, yeah, I'm just going to do a daily life for you, what I have to get done, and I hope you do enjoy it. So thumbs it up if you do. Also, if you haven't subscribed yet, I would love to have you sub subscribe to my channel. So we're just going to do life together, and I hope you enjoy. but I have to be able to start on a clean slate like doing my dishes before I start baking and I'm gonna um, try a new recipe it's an apple pie oat muffin recipe off of my fitness pal um, I just kind of like eating gluten-free because it makes me feel better so I'm gonna make some of those and then some black bean brownies as well so I really like those two items and my husband kind of likes them, but most of the time those are treats for me. But um, yeah, I'm going to start doing that and um, I'm watching a Hallmark movie, so I don't know if you're like me with that either. Uh, I kind of catch up on some of those movies and sometimes I just like a cheesy romance because Hallmark movies are very predictable. And I thought that'd be kind of fun to watch. Um, it's a mindless movie, so anyways, I am going to bake. spice or apple pie spice right now so I'm just gonna mix ground ginger ground cloves nutmeg and cinnamon together and dump it in there and if you've noticed I don't often measure as much as I should so I'm just gonna put it in and then taste it and see what it comes out because I like to experiment with my flavors and we'll see I also have some um, home raised apples that I'm gonna be putting in here which will make the flavor mm, just really good so I'm gonna do that brownies so, <coughs> I'm gonna make this I love these these are so good and you can't even tell that it's black beans in there here are my delicious muffins they look so good I'm excited to have these this week let's see if they come out perfect doesn't that just look so yummy mm. Apple and I put a few butterscotch chips on a couple of them, so just add a little more sweetness. They're a little bit, they're super moist, but 
I probably could have kept them in a little bit longer. Mm, so good. And I think it's time for my black bean brownies to come out. Check that. Oh, they're a little bit soft still. I use coconut flour, so I think that takes a little bit longer. I'll put them in for a little bit more. Oh, I can't believe the morning is over. It's noon already, and I've just been baking. So I'm kind of like snack prepping. So I made like things for myself to snack on, and then other things for breakfast. But man, the morning flew by. I even talked with my sister, or FaceTimed with her. So it's been a relaxing morning, but I still need to get some laundry done. I haven't made it to the grocery store yet. I think that's just kind of how life goes when you have things you want to get done, um, and it just gets uh, filled. Your day gets so filled with all those things you have to do. But I need to dust and fold some laundry and actually make a dessert for tomorrow because I have some relatives coming for lunch. Um, yeah, I just still need to do some more housewife things. <laughs> Okay, by the way, I got this laundry bag for a dollar from Hauler. It says, wash today or naked tomorrow. I didn't know that was what it actually said on the front. I thought it was just gray, but it's kind of cute, I guess, you know, in a um, different kind of way. So yeah, anyways, I use this when I get the laundry out of it instead of grabbing a hamper. to any of you but you get a dizzy spell and your head just pounds and you have to take a nap so I took about a 25 30 minute nap and oh I feel a lot better I took some ibuprofen this has been happening oh, right this has been happening for like two weeks now and my co-worker thinks it's like my equilibrium off but if you've experienced this and you know what it is I would love to get your um, tips advice what I should do but it's not fun because then you can't do anything. It just like pounds and you're dizzy and everything's spinning. So um, it is now 1.15 and we're gonna finally have lunch together. So I just got back from the grocery store and um, I will just share with you a little bit of how I like to shop. So we get this sale flyer. We get these in our mail and I kind of shop from this. So whatever's on sale I get. Uh, for example, this is my favorite thing to buy at our store. These whole fryer chickens, so this one's $5.19 for the whole thing. And that feeds my husband and I for like three or four meals. So that's really reasonable. I just throw it in a crock pot, cooks all day, and then it's done. Um, another thing is like these overripe bananas are $0.99 cents for the whole bag. And I just use those to make um, like banana bread. Other things I like to get are... Like these pasta noodles, they're 99 cents a bag. My husband eats those, I don't eat noodles like that. But when they're 99 cents, I get a couple of them just so that they last us a little bit longer. Or like I shop the cereal sale because my husband eats that as well. But it just makes our grocery bills so much less. And I used to do grocery hauls and um, like budget friendly grocery hauls. Um, I don't really do that anymore, but you can let me know in the comments if you want to see that some more. Just because I do like to be um, money, what do you call it? Money friendly, budget friendly. So yeah, I'm just gonna unload these groceries and see what I need to do from there.
and now I am going to dust a little bit. My husband and I are watching a TV show that's on Amazon Prime, and he has to go help at the church with something, so tonight I'm going to actually film a few videos for this week since I will be gone, so stay tuned for those later as well. But yeah, I'm a kind of a sweaty mess. Those workouts, it's the clutched body shop workouts. They really make you work pretty hard. And um, yeah, I've had a little bit of a transformation with that. I haven't really lost weight, but it's changed from fat over to muscle more. So, And I'm actually able to do pull-ups on my own for once in my life. I've never been able to do those. So it's been a good challenging workout for us. Smoothies and popcorn are one of my go-to suppers for at least one night a week. So that, I just downed my popcorn and I have a little bit of smoothie left. And then I also had one of the muffins with some peanut butter on it that I made this morning. So it was so cold I put long pants on and a long flannel. So I need to clean up and get to filming because my husband's gone and I want to be ready and done just to spend some time with him when he gets back from the church event that he's at. So it is the next day and I finished all of my things I needed to get done. I didn't end up filming everything, but my husband ended, husband and I ended up having some time to just rest on the couch together, so that was kind of nice. But I hope you enjoyed the day in the life. Give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe, that big red button down below. All right, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.